Okay. Okay. So I thought I would talk a little bit. And I like, you know, you can see so much crap in my room now. Especially this VR. You can see my underwear is on the floor and but uh and all my crap so that's a great thing about VR is it's that there's nothing to hide. Um I want to just talk a little bit about um, iPod, about the Apple and uh, Apple iPhone and iPod and all that stuff versus everybody else, the Androids um, and the Microsofts or whatever. Actually, the Microsofts are better off than but than the Androids. The Androids are in trouble, you know, and the reason why is because you have access to everything in the world. And because you have access to everything in the world, there's a potential for viruses and malicious software. That is one reason why you don't want an Android. Um, if you're on Android phone, especially. Um, the other reason you don't want an Android phone is because um, there's, it is, you have to have the default standard phone, like the Samsung Galaxy, if you don't have that, then you're not going to get a nice experience with the apps. Um, you're never going to have synthesizers, for instance. I mean, maybe there will be some synthesizers, but they won't be to the same degree as really good and fantastic as what you can get on these devices. And um, the reason why that is, is because when developers design for this guy, or for the for the i the ice stuff, okay? They are they know what they're going what they're what's on the device. And because of that, they don't have to they don't have to try to predict what's there. And so they know what they're designing for. Uh, they know just what size the buttons need to be on the screen. They know and they don't even have to do that. That's all there anyhow. So um you know, they, they know if they're going to do it for an iPad or if they're going to do it for an iPhone. They're just two different resolutions. There's not a bunch of different resolutions. And they know how to access the camera. And, I mean, everything's there. And Android tries to keep up with it as much as possible. But the thing is, is you're never going to get the kind of apps on the Android that you get on these guys. And these are always going to be better because the thing is, is that when you're working with that, it's kind of like a game console versus a PC. On the PC, you have to have bunches of libraries and places in place. And the people who are developing for the PC have to kind of know kind of what is in your hardware for them to be. Well, actually, it's, for games, it's, it's not so much of a problem. And, um, and probably for games for these devices, but, um, to get, I don't know, for most, for most things, you're, it just the bottom line is, is that if you know what the hardware is going to be on the device, you know what you can do with it and you can exploit it and you can, you can customize your applications to work, use it to a very low level. You can write really low level software that works with the device and whereas if you're on like android then you have to abstract yourself away from the hardware you have to use <clears throat> you have to you have your your programs tend to be more bland um what you do get is the ability to customize but with customization such as side loading there's a potential to get malicious software. So if you're going to get a device, say for your grandmother or for your mom or dad, you get one of these guys because they're probably not going to like it. Um, they're, they're probably going to, to call you and say, I got a virus on my device. And you have just you just have to tell them, there is no way in, the, in hell you will get a virus on this sucker. And the reason why is because it's impossible to sideload um, it's next to impossible. You can jailbreak this sucker. And when you jailbreak it, 
You're basically opening it up to the world. And when you open it up to the world, it's malicious software central. Um, if you're on a PC, the greatest way to get malicious software, pirate it, uh, pirate software. Um, if you were using torrents or LimeWire or whatever it is to get your software, it is in the best interest of a malicious coder to, to, to break an application, put their malicious stuff in it, and then distribute it to the world on like LimeWire and torrents. And so you're always running the risk of getting something. And you say, well, if I have a virus killer, it'll catch it. No, it won't. Virus killers only catch when everybody's got it. You know, when a great number of people start to have it um, and the people who have the virus killers start to um, get calls that their virus caller is not catching it. Um, so that means that there's still potential for, for malicious software to really take off. Another thing is, is that if it, what hits your device is not a virus, but is instead something like a rootkit, then the malicious coder can come in and use the device and uh, you wouldn't even know it. And virus killer is not even going to detect it. Or the people that have got the virus killer is not going to really detect it unless they put special software in place to um, detect that there's stuff trying to connect out to the internet or, or it's going to different places. But the thing is, is your virus killer is not going to detect it. So the thing is, is that you just run a risk anytime you try to, to get something from somewhere that uh, is not, um, is not some place that everybody goes to, to get apps. Um, so, the Play Store for for Android, um, the Apple Store for Apple, <clears throat> and um, if you're on Windows, then use their store, you know, or use Steam. But don't use just don't go downloading stuff from any old place, unless it's something that does is not an executable like the YouTube DL script, which is Python based. Um, it could still do malicious stuff, but everybody uses it. And you can use it to download videos and stuff. But um, when I use it, I use it on Linux. And on Linux, um, when I'm using it, where I'm using it, I'm not using it as root. And for that reason, there's no way that they can install viruses in my operating system because the only time Linux lets me install something is whenever I've got root access or it asks for my password, but the, the, the user that I use doesn't have root access. Or even if I use the password, I have to log in as root in order to install software. Uh, on Windows, all it does is it just says, this software wants to install software. And you can make the mistake of just hitting, clicking, and say, go, go ahead and install. And um, even when you're installing something that is a program that you want, it might be installing something with it and you would have no, no way of knowing. Um, the stuff I install on my Linux box always comes from the um, from a distro, usually. And if it is something that's something else, then, I'm, then I know there's a potential because I'm smart about this stuff. And the other thing that's really cool you can do with Linux is you can... You can um, separate your home folder, which is all of your your environment as a user, from the from what's in the system, and you can back it up. You can complete. You can also use Linux to completely back up your Windows partition, and so you can re reinstall all the stuff that was there. Um, but the thing is, is that. Unless you have Linux and you're on Windows, you're screwed because there's a great potential for me to get malicious software. And if you don't know how to use Linux, I would suggest learning it. Um, most people don't know how to use Linux. Uh, often the, the thing I get whenever I'm, I'm in front of people and I'm saying, you know, um, I hate Microsoft. I don't use Windows. And they say, you like Mac? And I say, no, I don't use Mac either. And then they go, but what else is there? And I say, Linux. And they go, what's Linux? And that's a scary, that's a scary, scary thing. Because 
they don't even know that their own, like their Android is Linux. They don't know that their set-top boxes are using Linux. Uh, even their microwave ovens probably using Linux. The Mars landers using Linux. Google, Facebook, all those guys out there, those guys that you're using, they're using Linux. Nobody uses Microsoft anything for servers or for embedded devices. They only use it when they have to play games on a PC. If you look in your PC, you will notice that the motherboard for this sucker right here, the motherboard is that big. And the reason why that is, is because of these guys, that those things can't make money anymore. And they have to get really small and integrated so that they can provide um, a lot of the same stuff without all the gunk that's in these suckers. And so now these PCs are really not much of anything and Microsoft's developing for that. They're not developing for something that's got more junk in it anymore. And um, I don't know if that's the reason why they're small and integrated and you can't really configure them much anymore. But um, that's the thing. So this is Linux and that's Linux over there. And that PC right there, that thing right there, that's got Linux in it. And I've got another PC somewhere else. I think it's up there that's got Linux. Um, everything I've got's got Linux on it. I don't use Microsoft for anything. Actually, this guy right here has got Linux and Windows. If I need to do anything on Windows, I'll use this sucker right here. But um, 